Exynos 2200 vs Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, early sustained performance tests throw up conflicting results. Working for notebook check. Are you a techie who knows how to write? Then join our team. English native speakers welcome. News writer, details here. German English translator, details here. The Exynos 2200 debuted with a shroud of mystery last month. While Samsung remains reluctant about providing performance data on the chip, Galaxy S22 units with the Exynos 2200 are now in reviewer hand. The new chipset has now been put through the usual benchmark tests versus its Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 counterpart. The tests come in the form of 3D Mark's Wildlife Extreme test, geared at simulating sustained performance workload. Results are conflicting, as it appears Samsung trades in peak performance for a more stable showing overall. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 earns a best loop score of 2597 while the Exynos 2200 only manages 2206. The Qualcomm chipset leads at its worst as well, with a score of 1637. The Exynos chipset comes in slightly behind at 1592. Those numbers translate into a 72.2% stability for the Exynos 2200 while the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 sits at 63%. The Exynos 2200 simply has a slimmer performance delta after throttling, which most would consider a positive. Ultimately, though, when both chipsets are at their throttled worst, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 still appears to edge out the Exynos 2200. ITLL be interesting to see how Samsung managed to achieve this, particularly with regards to power consumption figures. We'll keep you updated on that. Buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE on Amazon.